Welcome to First at Four on this Friday, January 10th. I'm Michael Guerin, and here's a look at today's headlines. The number one story on our website today is the weather. If you scroll down in this article, you can get the latest forecast update and see how much snow we can get today. The other trending stories today, three people have been arrested in connection with a string of robberies in the Sioux Falls area last week. 51-year-old Spencer Brown from T and 29-year-old Stephen King of Sioux Falls are facing numerous charges in relation to robbing the Dollar General on West 12th Street, the Red Roof Inn, and the Wall Lake Gas Station. A 29-year-old from T was also charged with accessory to robbery, and more charges may come, according to officials. A 56-year-old man was killed and two others were injured after a head-on crash on Highway 20 near Watertown yesterday. The 56-year-old driver of an SUV and a 54-year-old woman had to be extricated from the vehicle. The man died from his injuries and the woman is facing life-threatening injuries. The teenage boy, 17-year-old, in the other SUV has serious but non-life-threatening injuries. The crash remains under investigation. A Sioux Falls woman who is marking her 20-year career with the United States Postal Service is suing her employer in federal court for sexual discrimination and retaliation. The woman works as a mail clerk at a Sioux Falls processing center. Kelloland Investigates reports she is accusing the USPS of not following its own policies when it comes to sexual harassment and retaliating against her. The Postal Service has issued a statement and we have posted it below. And in a Kelloland.com original report, before voters even cast a primary ballot in the presidential election, Sioux Falls residents will be choosing several city council spots. This election is bringing in an influx of money into city politics. One campaign has already raised $70,000, and as of this afternoon, he is still running uncontested. Take a look at why some big donors, including former Governor Dennis Dugard, a who's who of local business leaders, and a current city council member, are donating. The story link is below. Thanks for watching First and Four. Have a good week.